Fill it with some soil right up to the crease and then you'll head over to the benches where you can grab a pea seed and we'll staple it shut for you with this little information sheet. Well you get to learn about a lot of um, okay. activities and you get to learn about science and it's really fun. Can you use the trowel, you can use your finger. Well it's the section that we're doing in this garden section it's really important for the kids to learn about healthy nutrition, taking care of the earth and the environment. I hope that we, um, we get them interested in gardening and from there stems healthy nutrition, healthy lifestyles and taking care of their earth. I want to get a real ride. You get to learn things and sometimes when I'm at home I do experience myself. It's a little bit less, it's 60,000 bees. So you'll have 60,000 girl bees in here. And then the boy bees, the drone, they always ask interesting questions. I uh, always get different ones. And uh, you know, honey bees are under threat right now. So I figure any, any beekeepers, young beekeepers that we can get started in this, uh, it's just, just great for us. They keep their hive very clean. Uh, the girl bees do all the guarding. They'll attack if, if under attack. Uh, they pretty much do it all. Candy made. Learned that how to make cotton candy. That the sugar from in the because the sugar in the middle it it spins and then it shoots out. We have um, a center where all of the centers, every child can do hands-on. So they get to, you know, get experiment what science is about and learn something and come away with it. So it's, it's terrific. We dropped the paint on the thing while it was spinning and centrifugal force pushed all the paint to the edge. The best part of this, I personally think, is the fact that the children are getting to go from different station to station to station with entirely different old theories and concepts and ideas at each station. Centrifugal force, fossils, physics, magnetism, uh, wildlife. It's just, it's fascinating for them. And it's a great way that they're not being judged by a test or something to have fun and learn. It's a lifetime memory. They'll never forget it. When you really get engaged and you're touching and you're feeling, I feel like that's a great sensory learning experience for the children. It, like, it increases your um, thought about doing science. It makes you want to learn more about science. I want to learn because I want to become a scientist when I grow up. Why? Because it's really fun to explore the new natures and plants. The hands-on experience, they get to go to each zone and they get to touch something, they need to get to do an experiment, they get to partake in an activity that wouldn't normally happen in their everyday lives. You can see how big his teeth are. The, the old saying is when you really want to learn something you need to do it and when those little kindergartners are sifting through sand to, to recover sharks teeth and fossils, they're not going to forget that. And, when they come to Science Lab with me, they'll have a new meaning when we discuss that and do our activities. A what? A mammoth! That's one big animal! And it's so great. Funny. It's my favorite time to be at school is being with the kids. They're just so much fun. They're curious. We get to play in the dirt. That's just like this guy. I'm going to pass him around. Experiments and learning. It's fun to learn about and you get to do experiments that are fun.